next song I want to dedicate to the people of Musica LA. They're a great music blog that's supporting the local talent. And uh, this is Anna Dance Floor. I'm Maria del Pilar and you're watching Musica LA. Yeah, that's right. That's the idea. I'm your host, Yana Gonzalez Moret, and I am so excited to be joined here by the powerhouse, delicious Chilean music artist, Maria de Pilar. Thank you so much Yay. for coming. We're Thank so you for that amazing here. introduction. Yeah, you are <laughs> delicious. All the good stuff. <laughs> so thanks so much for coming. I mean, you've made such a huge impact here on the music scene. You're known as the anchor of the Latin alternative. Um, underground here in Los Angeles, and that's such an cool. honor. So I feel like I'm in the presence of greatness. I'll bow down. <laughs> awesome. And I'm so intrigued, and I want to know like everything about you. So cool. let's start at the very beginning okay. about where you were born, where you come from, and where you fell in love with music. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I'm originally from Chile. I was born in Chile, but uh, raised half and half between California and Chile. Um, and so between those two cultures, my parents kept the, the music and the language alive the whole time. Uh, my parents were folkloric musicians, mm -hmm. uh, Chilean folkloric musicians, and so they are the ones that could spot that I was, you know, destined to be a musician and a, and a performer. And so they are the ones that kind of, you know, put me under their wing and taught me Chilean folkloric music first. So that was my first love of. Uh, my first introduction and love of music was that um, the Chilean folkloric music. That's great. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so then, how how long did you live in Los Angeles for? Or um, it or was you know it was really so we would go back and forth a lot. Wow. So and pretty much like all through my school all the way up to the end of high school, my parents would work really really hard all year to be able to send me you know give me a ticket a plane ticket to spend the whole um, summer vacations in Chile wow. with you know friends and with my grandparents and my family down there so that I would keep that culture alive and the language and, and the music. Mm -hmm. So as I got older I got into all of, all of that, all the Latin alternative music and um, got really into punk rock music and Spanish and English and that's when sort of like the folkloric stuff kind of took 
you know, kind of like, you know, yeah. <laughs> with all my, respect. I all wanted respect. to rock. <laughs> yeah, of course. So, yeah. So who are some of your inspirations that have inspired your music? Um, when I first heard the Chilean band Los Tres, mm -hmm. that was when I knew I wanted, I was like, I want to write music like them. That's when I knew I wanted to give, give it a shot at songwriting. Mm -hmm. um, I think before that, it was, um, you know, I just, I grew up with a lot of ra radio music, a lot of pop mm -hmm. music, you know, like Michael Jackson, and, you know, Prince, and, um, and then I, I, you know, grew up with all, all that as a teenager. I grew up with a lot of punk rock music, so it's just sort of this very, you know, mix of genres and styles mm -hmm. that I grew up with. Yeah, so to piggyback on that, how would you describe your personal style of music right now, Maria Del Pilar? Yeah. What is your, what is your um, flavor? <laughs> well, I think, you know, I, I think when I first, like, when I first also heard, like, Café Tacuba, that's when I knew I, I could mix all of these influences of mine and all these styles that I liked and that I wanted to mix. So... When I first heard them, I was like, oh my gosh, you can do that. It's, it is possible. Sure. So I, I liked, you know, I, I definitely continue to mix all of the, all of the things that I, that I like and the genres and the language, especially mm -hmm. too, when I'm writing lyrics. So I, I mean, I definitely get, you know, I'm put in the Latin alternative world for sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think there's there's hopefully going to be a moment where that can expand to something a little bit bigger, you know, of course. So. I know it will. It will <laughs> expand. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um, so um, another question is, like, I, th I find your music so relatable as a, as a Latina, like, um, first oh, cool. generation and cool. um, relatable in the sense of these, like, cross-country, like, kind of having to figure out your culture, your own mm -hmm. personal voice yeah. in this world. Yeah. And I think yeah. that's awesome. And Great. can you talk more about your bilingual singing and, like, how you, yeah. your songwriting? And um, uh, specifically, I want to talk about Waso, Waso de los Angelitos. Okay. Um, cool. But, but you can, you know, do it. Yeah. Right. yeah. Well, um, I think that when you grow up with both languages, you, you're thinking and speaking in both languages, you know. So there comes a time where that definitely, inf as, as an artist, that definitely influences your choices of, you know, how you write lyrics or um, how you connect with the public and the community that you want to create. Yeah. So um, I just went with what was natural for me. I think that that's the best thing to do as an artist is, and as just as a person in general, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like do what feels natural, mm -hmm. do what you enjoy, what you like, and it never really was, it, for me it's never been a choice, you know, like this song's going to be English, this song has to be Spanish, it's more like it just the song takes over and it chooses for you, mm -hmm. you know. Because it's who you are. Yeah, it? yeah, and then, you know, there's different ways of expressing things and some songs I'm like, I really, I'm really feeling this in both languages, I really want to do some, you know, there's, this is definitely going in the Spanish, you know, vein, or there's another song that could be very, you know, this is totally just English or just Spanish, so, mm -hmm. yeah. That's great. Well, I think it's just, yeah. it's a step forward. <laughs> That's what our future is going to be like, is the Spanglish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, let's talk about your new album, okay. um, Songs y Canciones, right? Mm -hmm. Or Song and Canciones? Yeah, Songs and Canciones. <laughs> One. Um, is it a trilogy? Well, I'm, I mean, that's, that's the plan, yes. I want it to be three. Okay. It looks like it might just end up being two, okay. Okay. <laughs> which is fine. I just, I wanted to create, I think what's with this new album, it was about creating, it was about a rebirth, right, of mm -hmm. my music and a rebirth of who I am also as a person and about the way I'm, I'm looking at the world and what I'd like to say and comment on and, and uh, hopefully have people connect with it and and uh, and get a lot out of it for themselves. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like, you know, with the dual language, the dual cultures, and there's definitely 
I, I feel like Sans and Canciones could be like 10 albums, you yeah, know, where it's, a where it's a, that mix of, of all these things and like different um, etapas, you see etapas like, like chapters, uh, chapters, yeah. exactly. So um, I, th I think, yeah, we're going to yeah. maybe, you know, two or three, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of that idea of the, of the vision, yeah. Two or three, yeah. Yeah. either way it's going to be great. <laughs> um, and I think that uh, you're, you're also such a... Uh, is powerful woman. That's why I said powerhouse, diva, licious, because you're a powerful woman. Um, your song Motivation talks about, you know, how it's that like living life basically, which mm -hmm. are these really truthful like statements. So how do you how, how do you what are your inspirations there? Like it's just how 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 did you come about with the like, motivation like that song? Um or? well I think just life gives life, you a lot yeah. to you know there's there's so many like there's so many things that can go right that can go wrong mm -hmm. that you make decisions that maybe didn't go right and you know it's just like life experience gives you so much uh, for me it's been a lot of uh, just challenges in the music industry challenges personal challenges and romance mm -hmm. and also in just in work and with fam you know, and with family history, and so I just decided, you know, it's time to clean all, clean up all those things, and mm -hmm. just, um, and I think from having done and still doing a lot of the work that needs to be done when you're cleaning up your life, when you're when you're wanting to understand how you can become a better person, mm -hmm. you know, or like how do you get, you know, like how do you get beyond, you know, your troubles and move forward with your, with your life, with what you want to do, with your goals, like, yeah. you know, so you just, you have, you have to just you go through it, you have to just go through it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fine. And I, yeah. and I'm, I'm happy to be able to do it through music, of course. through song, you know, I, th I mean, that's like a, it is always the ultimate therapy, but mm -hmm. you know, obviously, you're also portraying it a certain way, and you're presenting it a certain way so that it can, so that you can make sure it connects with people too. Yeah. You know. Cool. So, yeah. That's First, so cool. that it comes from yeah, personal it comes from inside. inside from <laughs> yeah. That deep place. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. Where you can't be scared. Yeah. You, you can't, can't be vulnerable scared. And to, yeah. Well, good for you. Yeah. And um, whilst I'm going back to Wasa Little Sangelitos, just because I've literally watched that video tons of times, it's oh, so beautiful, and I just want to learn more about that because it was just a powerful statement um, being made with lyrics mm -hmm. and with visuals. So I want to know mm -hmm. about that video, about your collaborations that you've made, and. Well, that song I wrote for my dad, okay. and it was it was when he told me he wanted to retire. He was ready to retire. He had had his second heart attack at okay. that point, and you know, luckily he survived it. And so he's like, you know, I'm ready. I'm I'm ready to have like fun with life, and I'm ready to just you know to retire. I'm ready to to move on for him to move on to his next chapter. So. I started to think back on what, like the, everything my dad had done for us as kids and, and for the family and for immigrating from Chile at a really tough time and coming here and everything he had to do to put food on the table and also to put me through music lessons. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that him and my mom would do a lot were performing Chilean folkloric music for parties and for uh, at restaurants and colleges and mm -hmm. you know presentations and so um, that those those were the images that started to come up when he told me that he wanted to retire mm -hmm. like my what I remember as a chat as a kid and I was like I ha and then I just knew I had to write a song about that. I, I wanted to write a song because he had written a song for me when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So I felt like it was what time was for me to... What was the name of that song? I don't remember. remember. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to kill me. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, you know, he was writing like kids songs for us, okay. you know, yeah. and uh, he was he was a very creative dad when we were growing up. Great. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, but, but and then, and then uh, who shot the video? Uh, my friends Allie uh, Garrett and Elder Son, okay. and uh, Elder, he's 
big time Cartoon Network guy and works on Adult Swim and he's, uh, we've worked together before and mm -hmm. uh, Allie and Elder, they're a couple, they're, they're married and they like, you know, leaving, you know, they, they like going away from their, you know, a, from the animation world and, yes. you know, because it's Robot Chicken, you know, here's <laughs> Robot Chicken and then you see this video and you're like, doesn't look like Robot Chicken at all. Yeah. <laughs> so opposite. So it's, it's fun to have these moments with, with friends of mine that, I, you know, and we went to CalArts together, so I've known them for a long time, like yeah. more than 10 years. It's your family, so, your artistic family, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, which is good, you know, as, as you're, you know, hopefully whoever's watching this interview, as, as you start to put together your, your music and you start to put together your team and the people that are helping you, um, you know, it's, it's important to, to, like, to treat them as family, to, cr to look at it like that, you know, because mm -hmm. then all the efforts and everything you do are, they're just, they're so much more rewarding. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. It's amazing advice, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> How to take it. Yeah. That's yeah. great. And so what's next for you? Um, you well, I'm ar I've already been writing, I already have music and ready to go for Songs and Canciones too. Okay. So I, for 2014, I'm looking at um, recording the next mm -hmm. album and figuring out who's going to produce it and all those things and then continuing to go on the road. Right, so you'll be um, on tour in January? Yeah, um, mm -hmm. February and then the rest of the year and then get down to Mexico and Chile oh, also because we didn't get to do that this year. Great, so, yeah. great, great. Yeah. So just keep keep doing stuff and then I have a new video coming out at the end of January. Oh too, cool. So. For for what yeah. song? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Great. Well yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I love your videos, that's for sure. But the yes. heels, heels and all that. Oh yeah. <laughs> such, a, such a great feminine quality to them. Cool. And they're so much fun to cool. watch. So cool. yeah. I before I just wanted to ask one more question mm -hmm. about about immigration because you have such uh -huh. a, a powerful voice in that and and um, your song you have a song immigration, right? Um Illegal in style. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to see like that as like an it seems like it's like an activist like you're definitely making sure that your voice is heard with these these situations. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's important when you get it as an artist and as a voice when you get the chance to express yourself um, with things that you are really you know close to heart. Um, they're honest, mm -hmm. you know, and they're heartfelt, and they they really I, I feel like they can really translate and connect with people and just give them another point of view mm -hmm. on on um, anything that's that's happening socially that you're you know that you are really connected with. And for me, immigration is is huge because I'm an immigrant. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not I mean, now I'm naturalized you know American yeah. citizen, but um, I was born in Chile and then came here and had to go through all that, that process, process of immigration. My parents as well, and so and they went through a lot of drama too, go, you know, coming into the United States from Chile. So, and I have a lot of friends that have gone through that as well. So, um, and to me, I just I, it's it, it's uh, it's really to me it's really important to make a stand about. <clears throat> having the freedom to really like roam where you want to. Like the mm -hmm. B fifty two song, I don't know if anybody knows that song. <laughs> it's called Rome. <laughs> and one of the lines is, is says roam if you want to roam yeah, around yeah. the world. And I think that if you want to that yeah. okay. <laughs> I'm just roam trying around to. the world. Yeah. Okay. So you know it's um it's uh I don't know, I it, I think yes, people need structure but also people People need to freedom more than anything. <laughs> they need they need freedom to, to walk wherever they want to walk to. Definitely. Honestly, and especially if they're giving giving to to another country or they're giving to um, to a, to a culture, or they're giving. You know? Definitely. So giving and freedom, which yeah. is great. Yeah. So where else can people find your music? And I have your CD right here. Yes, this is super exciting. <laughs> So what's your website and your Facebook page and where can people find you? Well, uh, everybody can download, yeah, everybody can download Songs and Canciones uh, on iTunes. 
and uh, and that's all over the world. Okay. Uh, Amazon. Um, at you can buy the physical CD actually I think also on Amazon. Great. And then there's um, uh, Amoeba Records mm -hmm. and locally in LA, Amoeba Records and. If you go to the website, it's got all the stores on it. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, and, and the website is maria-del-pilar.com. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank yeah. you so much for coming. Thanks. And we're fun. so glad <laughs> to have you here. And you're watching Musica Le, and we're again, we're with Maria del Pilar. All right, so we're here with Maria de Pilar. <laughs> so thank you so much for letting us sit on a rehearsal. Yeah, this is no so problem. exciting. <laughs> so what are you going to be playing for us today? Uh, Hueso de los Angelitos uh -huh. and Quien Eres. And I should introduce my band? Yes, I think yes. you should. We have some yes. amazing the folks here. Ariana on guitar. Who we know from Musica LA. And Matt Mayhall on drums. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, we'll let you guys get to it. Okay, so, okay. cool. <laughs>
Jessica LA. Bye. Bye. <laughs>